For many Americans, one of the biggest impediments to getting an electric vehicle is the ability or inability to install home charging equipment. And that's because around 50% of the homes in the United States cannot install a high-powered electric vehicle charger without a very expensive service upgrade. And that's because many of the homes have a 100 amp or 150 amp main service panel, and it just doesn't have the capacity to add a 40 amp or 48 amp charger without upgrading the whole system. The good news is, recently, there's some products coming on the market that allow people to install high-powered chargers even if they have a small home service like a 100 amp or 150 amp service. And I recently reviewed one of those chargers, the Emporia Pro Charger. I reviewed it here in the State of Charge Garage, did my full comprehensive review on that. I did explain how the intelligent load balancing system, Emporia calls it power smart system works, but I didn't really demonstrate it because here in the State of Charge Garage, I have a 400 amp service here. I have no need for that. Uh, and I got a lot of comments on the video saying, listen, great review, but I would love to see a little bit more detail on how you install the Emporia View with PowerSmart system that talks to the Emporia Pro Charger and gives it this intelligent load management capability. So I thought I'd see if I could find somebody that has a situation with an electric car that can't install a charger at their home because of their service limit. And I did find somebody, actually somebody local here, not far from where I live. And that's what we're gonna do here in today's video. I partnered with Emporia on this. I got them to supply the Emporia Pro charger, the VIEW system, and even have one of their licensed network electricians install it in this person's house and give somebody who has an electric vehicle but couldn't charge it at home the ability to do that. So we're gonna go over how you install the Emporia Pro with View System and PowerSmart in this video here today. So let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna be traveling only a few miles from my house today to one of my followers' apartments. His name is Lou, and he has a Chevy Equinox EV. He leased it back in October, which is about eight or nine months ago. And uh, he was planning on using public infrastructure. There's Tesla superchargers that aren't far from where we live here. I advised him on which NAX adapter to get. He got the NAX adapter, and he's been charging at Tesla superchargers, but he realized not too far into his electric vehicle ownership that it would be a lot easier if you could charge at home. So he asked me what would that entail. Now he lives in an apartment building and they don't have dedicated parking spaces, but they do have a parking lot. Uh, and I went and took a look at his service. He has a 100 amp service main. So he might have been able to install a a 16 amp or maybe even a 24 amp circuit to, to charge, uh, you know, on level two, but slower, which honestly probably would have been okay for him. But now that there's these products on the market that do this intelligent load management, why not give them the full 48 amps that the Chevy Equinox EV can accept? And, you know, if he needs to turn around and charge the car quickly, he can do that. So he spoke to his landlord. His landlord agreed to let him install it as long as he paid for it. And, uh, you know, while he wouldn't give him a dedicated parking spot, said, look, it, it's not that busy of a parking lot. Chances are he'll be able to park within two or three parking spaces where the charger is located because the cable will reach across about three spaces. So it has the Emporia Pro has a nice long 25 foot cable. So tomorrow Emporia is sending out one of its network installers and we're gonna get Lou set up with an Emporia Pro with the view system and the Power Smart Intelligent Load Management System. Let's take a look at how Emporia describes its Power Smart system. PowerSmart is a software upgrade that unlocks the full potential of the Emporia Pro EV charger when paired with the VIEW Energy Monitor installed in your electrical panel. Here's how it works. PowerSmart uses real-time energy from the VIEW Energy Monitor device in your electrical panel and measures your energy use thousands of times per second and allocates only the available panel capacity 
to your EV charger to never exceed the maximum panel capacity. The view comes in the box with the Emporia Pro EV charger and can be installed by your electrician at the same time of your charger install. All right, well, my next check-in is gonna to be tomorrow at Lou's apartment. While the installers are there, I'll explain the step-by-step -step process of installing the Emporia Pro with View and the PowerSmart Intelligent Load Management System. All right, so we're about an hour into the installation now and step one is complete. Step one is uh, installing the View system in the service panel. You can see up here, these are two CT sensors on the service mains and they're connected to the transmitter on the bottom. That has an antenna that has to get installed. We have it dropped down here below, behind the wall here. It's connected to this wire here and that's gonna connect to the Wi-Fi, which is next. This is also wired to the panel itself so it has power. I'm not gonna go specifically into how it's wired because I don't want people doing this. This is not something that the uh, average do-it-yourselfer should be doing. Don't work inside your service panel. If you wanna do some other uh, do-it-yourself stuff around the house, that's great, but you really should be uh, leaving this up to a licensed electrician because one wrong move and you're not shocked, you're done. <laughs> so don't do this yourself. Next thing we have to do is pair the unit here with the homeowner's Wi-Fi. And then we have to pull some conduit from the top here. We're going through the attic, outside the building, down the side of the building, where the Emporia Pro is going to be installed. Once that's all done, then we'll connect the Emporia Pro to the Emporia View system, pair it with uh, the customer's uh, Emporia app, and then we'll set the uh, current output. It's going to ask us uh, what uh, the service main is, which is 100 amps. And from there, the view system should just intelligently balance the power and uh, let Lou charge his electric vehicle without overloading his small 100 amp service, which is very common for apartments. Okay, next up, uh, let's get the Emporia Pro installed outside and take it from there. State of Charge is powered by Cumerit, North America's premier installer of electric vehicle charging equipment. After I've helped you decide which charger to buy, follow the link in the description of my videos and have Cumerit install it. And if you do follow that link, Cumer will waive the $150 installation deposit. But this is an exclusive offer for State of Charge followers. So in order to get that offer, you must follow the link in the description of my videos. Okay, and step two is done now, and that's install the Emporia Pro on the outside of the building. Now to do that, the electricians fed the electric from his panel up into the attic, across the attic, out the side of the building, and down the building in this conduit here to feed the charger. Everything's installed. The final step is to pair everything with his home Wi-Fi and then configure the view so that the charger and his other electrical devices in his apartment never overload the service's maximum capacity. Okay, so we paired the View and the Emporia Pro to lose Wi-Fi, and then we set in the settings the uh, amount of service, what circuit it was on, a 60 amp circuit, the fact that this is a 100 amp service, and then we also set a low amount of power. And you do that because the Emporia Pro wants to know what's the least amount of power it can deliver to the electric vehicle. If lose uh, using everything else in his apartment, his air conditioning's on, the electric dryer's on, all that stuff. There's still a, a certain amount of power available. In Lou's case, it was 24 amps. So we set the low bar to 24 amps. So even if everything is on in his apartment, his EV will still charge at 24 amps. If he comes home and plugs in and he's getting the full 48 amps, and then he turns everything on and he, uh, the, he's about to exceed his maximum capacity, the charger will drop down to 24 amps and charge it a little bit slower. But the fact is, even at 24 amps, his EV would be fully charged by the morning if he came home from work and plugged in at night anyway. So he'd never even notice if it charged slower on some evening, so it's gonna be really good. And speaking of Lou, he's pulling into the parking lot now. He just got off work and he's gonna plug in his Equinox EV for the first time 
on his home charger. So, uh, hey Lou, we're all set up here. How's she look? She looks nice. Tom? Good to see you. Thank you. So uh, finally, you'll be able to charge at home in your apartment. You know, I know you've been using the Tesla, local Tesla supercharger for a while with that adapter that I got you, the NAX adapter. Um, you know, give me a little thoughts about uh, charging, having to go charge at a supercharger versus being able to plug in and charge here. Well, it was, uh, it was a hassle at times to go to the superchargers and, or find one that wasn't fully being used. And now that I have this installed, I don't even have to worry about anything. <laughs> and I've been waiting for this for a while. Well, Lou, Lou's got the Equinox eight months ago. And shortly after that, uh, I think, uh, you know, we started talking about getting him a home charger uh, here installed. And it took me a little while to figure out what would be the best situation. You also got to thank your landlord for allowing you to do this at your cost. I mean, he, he, didn't, he didn't pick up the tab, right. but he said, look, if you want to install it, Go right ahead. Well, that was a big concern whether yeah. he was going to let me do it at all. Yeah. yeah. But he was uh, kind enough and he yeah. said, go for it. Yeah, because we you don't have reserved parking spaces here. No. You know what I mean? So somebody else, you can come home, someone could be parked in your spot. But that's another good feature of the Emporia Pro. You have access control. So you can shut the charger off when you leave in the morning and people aren't going to be able to come and plug in on your dime. So that's helpful. You're that also is. going to save money. I really didn't, we didn't really talk about this much. I know when you go to a supercharger, depending on what time of the day, because it has dynamic pricing, you, you're probably paying 45 cents per kilowatt hour, something like that. Right around there, yeah. Here, your local rate is, I think, 22 cents. So you're going to be paying half to charge your Equinox. There so you that, go. That, that'll, that'll add up. But, um, uh, you know, I, I know you went upstairs and took a look at everything to your satisfaction. Everything was Everything's great. Done good. Everything, uh, the, uh, whoever installed it did a great job, you know, and they didn't leave a mess, which is important. Yeah, no, they cleaned up. Uh, but yeah, they did a great job. All right. Well, I mean, any other questions you have about this? Uh, I mean, you're good to go. Uh, the only last thing you need to do is plug in let's and start see, charging uh, let's at see home. If this, let's see if this thing goes. Grab the connector and uh, plug her in. What do you think? Let's see. Let's see if it starts uh, beeping that it's charging. You and go. you're charging. See the green, you yep. got the green blinking light. I don't know, you, 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 you've you, never, the funny thing is what I noticed, Lou took off his DC fast charging cap uh, on his charge port because he's only charged at DC fast chargers. When you charge at home now, you don't have to remove this. That stays. But I took it up because I, don't, I didn't think it was gonna fit with that in there. It, it, it fits with that in, but now you can't put it back in once the connector's on, but you don't have to remove that. All that's right, only we'll when you're at the Tesla superchargers. No, that's great. So, but um, you know, you don't have to unplug that now. Okay. All right, well, you're charging, Lou. You're charging at like half price. So uh, good luck with this. Thank you, Tom. I and, appreciate uh, it. I'm, I'm happy to be able to do this for you. You know, it's having the ability to charge at home, your electric vehicle is liberating. I mean, you could make an EV work if you use public charging infrastructure. I know a lot of people that do, but being able to charge at home not only saves money, but it's so much more convenient. You just come home at night and plug the damn thing in and you're done. I, that's probably the main reason why I wanted to get an EV. Yeah, and then you couldn't for the and first nine months. Do it. I mean, this yeah. has been a long time yeah. coming. Yeah, I almost didn't think it was going to happen. Yeah, well, you thought it. it was going to be easier to, number one, get permission. Number two, you didn't realize that your 100 amp service was going to limit you and you right. couldn't just get a charger. And right. then I mentioned the meter socket adapter and we had connector look at it and they said, no, we can't put it in because uh, the way your panel is set up here would be interfering with the other meters. But now this, uh, the Emporia Pro, I think, is the right solution for you. And uh, I think you're going to have many uh, years of uh, good charging, Lou. And uh, I'm again. happy to see it done for you. And listen, so that's a wrap on the Emporia Pro being installed with the view and dynamic power management at an apartment building with a 100 amp service. If this is your first time here at State of Charge, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming electric vehicle news and reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.